Hey, and Galen, you know this on the phone from Life South Community Blood Center, still on a, a vacation, somewhat of a staycation. He, he didn't go that far. He's over on the coast and uh, having a good time with his family and had a family reunion. I saw some pictures on Facebook. Good morning, Galen. Hey, good morning, Larry, Robin. How are y'all? Pretty good. How many people in your family look like you? Oh, none. None? Uh, well, you two boys. Weird. You two boys do. Yeah, I guess that. I guess. I mean, I, I hope not. I think they look more like their mom. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, we're we're a mixed bag. I mean, we we are or we have Indians and half Filipinos and half Indians and <laughs> people that are Indian and look white. And yeah, I mean, we're we're there's we're a. If you looked at us, you wouldn't think that we were all related. Put it that way. See, I don't. I don't think. Uh, I'm trying to think how many people in my family look like me. There's a few people, right, Robin? That, that sort of look like yeah. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I think you're right. Now, so, when I go to North Carolina, the, uh, they all look kind of like me. So. Oh, North. Oh, oh, is that a different family reunion? Yeah, like the nuclear side, the mom side. I, I look. I look a lot. More oh, I see. I see. Like okay. Them. Okay. Um, so how is uh, how was the reunion, or is it a, a more oh, than? It's a, still good. It's still going on. It's still going, it's still going, on. going on. So what? Well, how does yeah. it? How does it stay interesting? Does, is there somebody organizing it? Like, is there a, an activities director? Well, my mom, I guess. But so what we're doing is, you know, we're staying in this in this uh, complex, and so we all have our own little condo. But you know, every night a different family cooks dinner. And so we all go over there for dinner and oh, really? just hang out throughout the day. And, you know, all the kids are hanging out and the cousins are hanging out. And so, yeah. What's your day? Good. What's your day to cook? Tonight. Well, my day. I, uh, it's not going to happen. I mean, my wife is cooking tonight. <laughs> oh, tonight. <laughs> and what's she, what's she making? Some Mexican. So everybody's got a theme. Like, last night it was Italian. Tonight's Mexican. Oh, nice. Um, Lisa, my... my the other sister cooked ponset and then uh what is that somebody made ponset oh it's a filipino dish okay oh interesting fantastic fantastic um so yeah i mean everybody does their own you know a certain night how great is that that is so cool and anybody organizing games any volleyball are you on the beach actually when you do this or or you're in the no we're not on the beach oh you're in the the we're about a mile off of the beach Hmm. yeah we're next to the intercoastal um, yeah, I mean, the kids are having a good time. You know, the adults will, uh, I think there was a poker game. I, I just you think Nice. Was, I'd be there. See, Robin, yeah, would have been there. I'm, <laughs> I, it sounds like you didn't go. I wouldn't go either, Galen. I'm, I couldn't stand that. Uh, the thing is, all right, here's the truth. So they've been sending, like, these group texts for, like, six months. <laughs> and I just got sick of it, so I muted it. And so apparently, I, I'm out of the loop on all of them. <laughs> the next morning, they'll be like, "Hey, where were you? Uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, we texted everybody. We did this." I'm like, "Oh, you got to yeah, turn I, it back on. Kinda... You want to be included? You got to turn it back yeah. on." <laughs> <sighs> yeah, a little dose is good. <laughs> yeah, and then we all went to the beach together. We all, you know, it's been it's been fun. Is it's there good. is there one common relative that you all have? Yeah, my. Well, no, no, we're all related. I mean, we're all first cousins or nieces and nephews. So, by me, who do, you, who do you trace it back to? A grandfather, a grandmother? Who do you trace it to? Yeah, I, yeah. It, so you, you know, the, the, there are three kids, three of what I call brothers and sisters, but they're really my cousins. Their parents died in the MGM fire, and then they came and lived with us in, in 1982. Oh. oh wow! And so that's that part of it. But if you were to go to a single, like, person that we all have in common would be our grandfather, my father's father, and their father's father, Magnus Unold. And we're all, you know, that's everybody's grandfather here in some form or fashion. Gotcha. Oh, wow. That is cool. That is cool. So are you sitting around the pool at night, like, you know, drinking and talking about stuff? And It's been raining. Oh. Yeah, we, we have been. So I'll tell you what was really cool. Um is you know my dad videoed everything and so we had we had an eight millimeter projector set up and then because some of the stuff we put on dvd but my mom found a bunch of more stuff we haven't converted to dvd so we had a dvd player on the tv and the eight millimeter projecting on the on the uh wall oh wow and it was it was crazy i mean you know when you see yourself in your 
the exact same age as your son and you know it, it's it's kind of crazy and you're doing the same things they did they my dad had like footage of me playing baseball and <laughs> soccer and, and so it was it was nuts so that was good and then because I, and i told my wife this because everybody who didn't know my father and didn't live in our house didn't care right nobody wants to see your old videos or your old film yeah, yeah, yeah. but when you're around the people who do it makes it that much more special so i'm with you know, my sister I know. Renee and Lisa and I, Brian and Eric are all watching it going, oh, my God, look at this. And nobody else cares. Oh, I know exactly. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. 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 Well, when, when, I was young, when I was younger, this was before people were putting together vi videos like they do now. But I, I took a lot of family photos and uh, basically propped them up against the cardboard box and took an old video camera on videotape and just recorded them with a, a close-up shot and then I put music to it and then we showed it to the family and everybody said oh my god everybody's crying and blah 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 right mm -hmm. it was beautiful right so then my father's friend said can he make can I make one for him so I made one for him and you know I had no reaction to it I didn't, I didn't know any of those people <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and that's just it but when you're around people who get it and understand it yeah 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 you know, it's a shared experience and um, and so that was that was a really good moment. So oh. That was a really good moment. That is cool. So I have a I have a, a Galen memory today. It was it was a time when you came over to the radio station and helped me fold my father's flag. Remember that? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you remember? Do you remember how I got that flag? Do you remember the story behind the flag? No. I wanted. Remember my okay. I wanted to tell you this, not just to tell you, uh, but to tell the audience too. Because if you don't know that you can do this, it's a very cool thing to do, and it doesn't take me a long time to tell you. That flag was flown over the Capitol by then Congressman. Oh my gosh, was it Buddy McKay? I think so. Buddy McKay. I think that's what you said. Yeah. Uh, and 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 so that's what you can do. You can get ask your. You have to pay them, so they don't. <laughs> you have to pay for the flag, and then what they do is they do something and i guess they're constantly raising flags saluting them and then lowering them at the capitol i guess it's a constant thing sure. mm -hmm. yeah and you, yeah. you can have it done and uh so that was the thing i did for my dad and i asked whoever did this i guess the i guess again it was buddy mckay i think sounds right to me right mm -hmm. am i saying the right name yeah, yeah. it's been a lot of years sure. your dad had flown that lot um but uh, but anyway um I asked them for a certificate that, that acknowledged his service in, in the Army in World War II. And mm -hmm. so they, they sent a nice certificate with it. And so I gave it to my dad, and he flew it for, you know, until he died. Yeah. So that was the flag you helped me fold. Yeah. <sighs> Let's see. I wanted to tell you how much it is now because I don't remember. Um, I have it right here. Hold on. If you want to have a flag flown, the 4 by 6 nylon flag is only $15. Mm-hmm. Sure. The five yeah. by eight nylon is only twenty, and the five by eight cotton is twenty three. The flying fee is seven dollars, and the mailing fee is four dollars. So, yeah, not, so I mean it's a nice way to give uh, make a gesture to somebody. Bucks? Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's it a very bucks? nice way. Yeah. And uh, your that meant a lot to your dad. It did. Absolutely, it meant the a lot symbolism to your dad. more than the you know the 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 cost, the symbolism of that is is pretty incredible. Yeah. Yeah, very, very, very cool. All right, so today is Flag Day, and um, I, 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 some of these it's, things... It's my brother Eric's birthday. Who's? Older than me. His Eric. brother Eric. Oh, your brother Eric. Yeah, he's I, older than me for another two weeks. Nice. Oh, my gosh. And it's Robin's yeah. uh, husband's birthday. Yep, 70, and the it's big 7-0. My, it's also my brother's birthday. Yep. So we all have a birthday today. Yeah. There you go. So Bill's... Did you send him a card? No, I'll see him here soon enough. <laughs> <laughs> I sent my brother a Jackie Lawson card. I, I did the cheap way. I just did the, the electronic card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I bet he loves it. Yeah. I don't you know. never forget. I don't know. It's, I got the email this morning that said he looked at it, so that's all. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how is the blood supply right now? Kind of stuck. We're, we we need this rain to stop just so we can catch up. But we really just need people to give to get the life and donate blood. That's the bottom line. 
So how does the conversation go with with relatives? They say, hey, so what do you do? Well, I, I don't I work for Life South. Life South, what do they do? <laughs> I mean, do you have... Well, they know what I do by now. They yeah. all know. They all know. Okay. Yeah. And, and well, does, they, they get a little confused, and they're like, what? Wait. Yeah, at first they did. Now they get it. I mean, I've done it for almost 20 years. <laughs> so. uh, but do they do, do, do they ask questions, like like the kind of questions you might get on this show? Occasionally, when something comes up, yeah. yeah. Is, is there anything else from this show that has ended up at the family reunion? <laughs> they talk about it. They talk about it all the time. You talk about the show? And, yeah, they'll be like, yeah, hey, I saw this thing on YouTube. <laughs> like, okay? Oh, no. You know it's coming because they're family, and, and we just, we oh, just no. give each other a hard time. And I'm yeah. like, Okay. <laughs> yeah. You, don't, you really think you know about such and such and such? I'm like, I don't even remember what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't even remember. <laughs> oh, my God. And then my kids get involved, and my kid, my, my, my son was like, yeah, you know, I go to school, and some substitute teacher's like, hey, I hear your father on the radio all the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine, you know. He's funny. And my son's like, no, he's not. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. My God. Yeah, I mean, when you get that, I mean, that's just what family does. It's my family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's like, I'm, you're so supportive. <laughs> so what, what, which uh, topic did they challenge you on? I don't remember. Yeah. They, they, uh... Not was, Building 7. I oh, I would have loved to be a fly on the wall. No, 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 it wasn't Building 7. <laughs> building 7. I think I just tuned them out. Because then, the, then Eric and Brian just started talking about it, trading secrets, and then they got stuck on YouTube. And then I won a bet because somebody said that I didn't have a video with 10,000 views. And I said, yes, I did. And I got one a dollar. <laughs> so, <laughs> they're so, they're, our family is so large that you don't ever have a conversation finished. You have a video you're with ten thousand views. Always in the middle. Of, I do. Um, you're always in the middle of the conversation. You're never at the end. You're never at the beginning. You're always in the middle. And so, if I, I, I'll start a conversation, then something will happen, and then we'll we'll continue it. You know, a day later at the pool. So it's just the kind of way it is. <laughs> it's hard to explain. <laughs> so. All right, watch that video you were talking about last night. You know you were wrong. <laughs> you know you made some yeah. mistakes then. <laughs> oh yeah. That building seven, yeah. you know. Yeah, I watched I, Alex I Jones. Alex Jones told me about that. <laughs> oh my gosh, Alex Jones. And yeah, it was something. something. You can't. By the way, Alex Jones. You can't believe anybody thinks that his Sandy Hook was a was a false flag. So. Yeah, exactly. Man, that's a crazy c- conclusion. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, Palm Garden of Ocala Health and Rehabilitation Center. Thank you so much for what you do. Um, we want to go to a commercial break real quickly, but I wanted to give my two cents about their facility. Uh, I know that they're a sponsor, and so you all know that as a, a good little radio host, I should say nice things about our sponsors. But I'm telling you, this is the, from the bottom of my heart. This is this is a great facility. These are great people. It really is. I can't convince you probably with words, but I would ask that you just take a tour. Mm-hmm. Take a tour. And I hope you never need a facility at, for anything. But if you do need one, you want one that feels like home. And this one feels like home. Yeah. This one. These are really nice people. They've got uh, unbelievable staff. Um, and that's that's it. That's what makes it great. So go take a tour of Palm Garden. Uh, they're at 2700 Southwest 34th Street. Pen flooring, same thing. We've got flooring from Pen Flooring right here. I walk on it every day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and you can make your home or office more beautiful from the floor up if you just uh, check out the, the showroom and make a decision and have them come over. They'll install it for you, of course. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's very durable. And they're at 1201 Southwest 17th Street, just over the McKay Williams Bridge. Yes. And that's Ooh. the same McKay that flew the, the flag for my father. Yeah. Because <laughs> he served as governor for a little while, right? He yes, was a congressman, he then he served as a governor. Yeah, mm-hmm. something like that. I hope I have the names right. All right, let me take a little break, and we'll be right back with Galen. Um, what, are you, what city are you actually in? Palm Coast. Palm Coast, okay. We'll be right back. 
The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. On this Wednesday, times of clouds and sun. There'll be a shower and heavy thunderstorm in the area during the afternoon and evening hours. High today, 85 to 89. And later Wednesday night, mostly cloudy with a shower in spots. The overnight low, 71 to 75. For Thursday, more clouds and sun. Very warm and humid with a thunderstorm or two in the area, especially during the afternoon hours. The high tomorrow, 86 to 90. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lunder. I'm Jennifer McCulla, the Executive Director of Palm Garden. This is National CNA Week, and I want to personally express my heartfelt gratitude to all our certified nursing assistants for the hard work and care they give to our residents. I have always felt that Palm Garden CNAs are ladies and gentlemen caring for ladies and gentlemen. Our CNAs work round the clock to ensure the best of care, and I am so proud of our marvelous staff. Happy CNA Week from Palm Garden of Ocala. You've got a garden and we've got a show for you called You've Got a Garden with your host, Master Gardener Carol Ann Baldwin. Carol Ann answers your questions about your flowers, your veggies, your grass, your trees, even questions about your bugs. And she's only on WOCA, so don't miss Carol Ann Baldwin and You've Got a Garden each Tuesday from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. right here on WOCA The Source. Cookies, 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 cookies. We go cookie eating cookies. When you want something special and fun for any occasion, get cookies. King Cookie in the Paddock Mall in Ocala will make a delicious, fun-filled delight just for you. So next time you're in the mall, stop by King Cookie or call 352-237-2557. KingCookieOcala.com. Customized cookies, cakes, and more. King Cookie. Eating cookies, eating cookies. We're so happy eating cookies. Cookies! All right, 24 minutes after 8 o'clock. Gosh, the morning is just flying. Uh, it's right now 73 degrees here in Ocala. The temperatures are expected to climb to 90. And there is a chance of rain today. Let me look at it real quickly. About a 40% chance of rain. Tomorrow, a 80% chance of rain uh, with highs back in the upper 80s. Galen, you know, in Palm Coast over at the, uh, at the coast um, between San Augustine and Daytona and uh, calling in from the family reunion. Is it an all-week event? Uh, yeah, yeah. Do you have a uh, we're leaving Friday, and I think some people are leaving Saturday, but I think most people are How fun. So what do you do for a grand finale? What do you all do? I don't know. We haven't gotten that far. We're, we're kind of a day-by-day people. Any Anybody bring out a guitar and, and have a cringeworthy moment? Well, no, well, my my nephew, Eli, is a uh, is an incredible guitarist. Oh, it's he, very he, good, though. That's not cringeworthy. And, no, I mean, well... They 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 had the karaoke and he played the guitar. My sister just I, I literally thought it was cat screaming. And I walk out there and I'm like, Oh, is there cats fighting? It was my sister singing. I'm like, Oh my god. Hey, you gotta stop. I mean, she does it with a lot of passion. Do you, yeah, right? still, do you know what you have to you have to wonder about something, Galen? You have to wonder if this video is not gonna be mentioned at the next family reunion. <laughs> you never know. You never know. <laughs> this YouTube video where you called your cat, your sister's singing, <laughs> cats. Well, I did, I did tell her that to her. I'm like, I, I re- literally thought <laughs> cats fighting. <laughs> what was the song? I will survive. <laughs> no, it was like a brown eyed girl, and I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> wow. <laughs> did you do whip it? Wh- <laughs> yes. Did you? No, I didn't. I don't sing. No. You do whip it. You told us you do whip it good. Yeah, but uh, you can't do whip it on a guitar. Oh, oh, it's karaoke with a guitar. That's not called karaoke. That's called singing along. Yeah. Well, that's what they call it. Oh. They have oh. the words and everything. And I was like, okay. Oh, gotcha. Okay. <laughs> well, that's kind of cool that he was doing that. Very cool. Very cool. All right. So I have here for uh, for Flag Day, I have the 10 things you didn't know about the American flag. Let's see if we really didn't know these or if this is just a, uh, All right. bait, a, t- a bait title. Okay. Number 10, Old Glory was actually the nickname of a specific U.S. flag, never all American flags. Did you know that? Yeah. Yeah, it was the one that was on uh, the USS Constitution, if I remember right. Oh. Uh, Or is it um, it Ironside? It was owned by Sea Captain William Driver. He was previously given the flag by the women in his hometown of Salem, Massachusetts, but he only named it Old Glory upon seeing it flying on the ship's mast in 1831. Oh, okay. Maybe it wasn't the USS Constitution. Yeah, I don't know. Well, it doesn't say what ship he was on. Constitution was after 1831. Okay. Oh. Nine, number nine. 
there are federal regulations governing the handling and display of the flag. Well, you knew That's that. Right. Yeah, well, well, that was my job. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Um, include Here's some restrictions on using the flag's likeness. Um, you're not supposed... doesn't say illegal, but you're not supposed to print it on anything intended to be discarded, like cocktail napkins or paper plates. Did you know that? Mm-mm. Y- yeah, you can do a you can do a flag, uh, but it can't be the true flag. So that's why you see like stars and stripes on stuff, but it's not actually the flag. Hmm. Yeah. Because uh, what'll happen is they're they're not allowed to import it in. So you have to be very very conscientious of that. Uh, number eight, Richard Williams, the animation director for Who Framed Roger Rabbit, said that he modeled the title's characters' colors after Old Glory. Red overalls, white fur, and blue tie. Oh, oh there you go. Didn't oh. know that. <laughs> That's not even worthy of being on this list. <laughs> All right, number just somebody s- who just wanted to have a Roger Rabbit reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe. Number seven, uh, Flag Day is not technically a federal holiday. And it's not a state holiday outside of Pennsylvania and New York. Furthermore, New York's official observance of Flag Day is not June 14th. Oh. But the second Sunday in June. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Mm Mm-mm. No. Number six. According to the U.S. Department of State, the names of the flag's official colors are Old Glory Red, White, and Old Glory Blue. Those are the official colors. All right. All right. Didn't know that. Uh, Number five, despite the harsh temperatures and conditions of the moon's atmosphere, five of the six flags that were planted during the Apollo missions are still standing. Oh, good. Well, there's no wind. (laughs) There's no wind, no. Number four, during the opening sequence, about 22 seconds in of the first season of Gilligan's Island. Oh, are we there already? Um... The, the flag in the distance is at half-staff. That's because it was filmed on November 22nd, 1963, after President Kennedy was assassinated. Oh, my. Oh, I didn't know that. No. I have to look that up. All right. Yeah, have fun with your family. Uh, talk about some... Yeah, we'll do. Some, put one of these videos on a big screen. <laughs> put, put yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. All right, where's the bloodmobile real quick? Uh, we're at the centers today, so uh, come out, give the gift of life, and donate blood. Oh, nice. All right, Kim. Thank you for what you do, and be careful out, over Have there. Have fun. Yeah. Uh, you guys are the best. All right. Bye, y'all. Bye-bye. All right, we'll be right back. Uh, sorry, the uh, Fox News is not working. We'll be right back. Howdy, folks. R.L. here for Dairy Queen Silver Springs. It's a new year full of good stuff and good food, so come on down to DQ at Silver Springs and start it off right, because we've got things for your heart's delight. Chicken strips and pepper gravy and slaw or chili dogs, oh so savory. Codfish and grilled burgers, too. Made to order just for you. Creamy and frosty blizzards and shakes and all kinds of flavors, for goodness sake. Dairy Queen Silver Springs, where we always treat you like kings and queens. Here are today's headlines from the source WOCA. A former Rockledge councilman is in custody after being accused of firing a gun into an occupied vehicle after a property dispute, according to the Rockledge Police Department. Ralph McCoy, a local realtor and former two-term Rockledge councilman, came up to the intersection of Barton and Seminole Drive just before 3 p.m. yesterday when he saw a man driving a truck he had been having a dispute with. McCoy is accused of then firing a shot from his car and putting a bullet hole into the driver's side door. The driver called 911 and that began a search for McCoy's 2001 white Lexus. Police headed towards his home in Vieira. Authorities were able to make contact with him by phone and Rockledge officers were able to stop him in a church parking lot where the 62-year-old McCoy surrendered just before 4 p.m. Police say McCoy's four-year-old son was in the car at the time he was taken into custody, but the child was not with him when the shooting took place. McCoy is charged with aggravated assault with a firearm and shooting into an occupied vehicle. 
Attorney John Morgan may sue the state of Florida over the legislature's bills expanding the use of medical marijuana. State lawmakers did not approve smoking as a method of consuming the drug. Morgan, one of the main backers of Amendment 2, points out the amendment approved by voters allowed patients to smoke medical marijuana, just not in public. So lawmakers did not follow the letter of the measure. He says, quote, that's wrong. I'll go back and fix that. It's in my amendment four separate ways. They got into the purview of medical use, which they're not allowed to do, and so I will win on that issue, but it's going to take me a little bit more time, unquote. Morgan says there are some positives to the bill, like allowing growers to grow, dispensaries to open, and allow patients to get some relief. A new AAA Consumer Pulse survey shows Floridians will vacation more than last summer and spend more money in the process. The survey revealed that two-thirds, or 67% of Floridians, are planning at least one vacation of three days or more this summer. The most popular vacations are beach or lake getaways, theme parks, and ocean cruises. Of the Floridians planning a summer vacation, the majority, 71%, say they will not leave the United States. However, 20% say they are planning both in international and domestic vacations, while 9% will only travel internationally. Orlando, Vancouver, and Cancun are among the top summer travel destinations in North America based on AAA travel bookings from June 1st through August 15th. 30% of travelers say they feel better about traveling compared to last year, while sentiments remain unchanged for more than half of those surveyed. The top three reasons Floridians feel better about traveling are improved financial situations, more time to travel, Travel and better feelings about the economy. Only 13% of travelers say they feel worse about vacationing this year. A whiskered walrus baby was welcomed to SeaWorld Orlando on June 3rd when a 14-year-old female named Caboodle gave birth to her first calf just after midnight. SeaWorld officials say Caboodle and her baby immediately began to bond and the pair remain close at all times, even snuggling with each other as they sleep. Throughout her pregnancy, the park says its animal husbandry and veterinary teams provided extensive prenatal care and regular ultrasounds, according to a 